I want to show you the Velma Sill uh, brow tint kit. Um, I'm going to show you the little uh, walkthrough tutorial here after I just kind of point out some of the um, key things. First of all, um, the extent of colors is pretty impressive. Um, most tint lines, I don't think, have colors like this. So, um, number one, that's the first thing I notice is you have all these colors here. I kind of broke them up into what you would get if you ordered the brow kit, which I think for most um, people doing brows, that might be all that they need. These are nice extra ones, but the, the uh, brow kit includes black, which you would probably be using for lashes. If you like the blue black or if you did other blue and blue black, um, then you may want to go and add those on. But I think for brows, uh, you probably would only need to buy the actual um, brow kit tint. And so what that comes with are these five colors, which um, black, dark brown, light brown, honey brown, and red. The red's really nice because sometimes you get those redheads that uh, you want, might want a little deeper red, so that's nice. Um, the extras that are included in more of the extra kit, which would have the extra colors, green, violet, graphite, blue, black, and blue. So you'd be able to get those colors as an add-on if you if you didn't buy the larger kit and just stuck with the um, with the um, brow kit. Also, this did not come um, with the brow kit. It's extra or comes with the large kit, but I think it could be pretty valuable to have. Um, it's the little chart which has the colors and my hair kind of gives you an idea of the colors you might might want to use, especially if you want to mix and match, because some of these you might want to mix and match. And they have, um, they have um, a little, uh, it came with some basic instructions um, as far as blending, you know, blending some of the colors and things that you might want to do, which is real nice. But if you have this, this is, this is kind of nice to show you the colors. So this would be an extra on top of the um, brow tint kit. And then this comes here too, this nice little, um, with a brush and holds like that. And it's nice, it has the two little extra, the two um, little separate dishes that you can mix. Let's say you're doing a, a brow tint and then you can mix your lash tint in here, that's nice. And then you can have your brush there like that so it doesn't roll around. Um, here it also comes with the, um, it's a Bella Remove. It's like the uh, makeup remover. It's to be used before, at least I used it in my tutorial before, to remove all the makeup and clean the brow hairs. I'm not sure if you would use it on lashes. I'm thinking probably not. I'm not doing lashes here. Um, but to remove, and then I also used it to remove after, just to clean up after the tint. So this was nice. And then here is your um, oxidant. It's a little, um, I don't know if I'd call it quite a cream. I'll show you, but it's not quite a liquid either. But um, I'll show you how that works when I mix it up here. But um, yeah, so this is basically what you would be getting if you got just the brow, the brow stuff. I think there's a couple extra little things in there that I'm not showing you that I don't think are too important. But these here is, oh, the one thing I wanted to mention, there is a, a protective barrier, a, a balm. Um, I did not get that. I don't know if I lost it or what, but I cannot find it if I did. But it is a balm um, that also comes with your protective cream. Normally people I think would use Vaseline, which I'm sure is nice. That's what I've used. That's what I'll use in my tutorial. But this kit also does come with the balm, which is nice. So pretty much if you buy that kit, it's all inclusive of anything that you would need to do just brows. Your basic brow colors, your, your remover, your pre-cleanse, your oxidant, your nice little uh, dish, and your, um, your um, barrier cream that I can't seem to find. So what you might want to just buy extra would be this. You can see, and then is it any of the extra colors that you want. So anyways, okay, so that's that, let me put that aside. So anyways, I'm just going to show you here um, how I mixed it up in the tutorial. I didn't show you on the tutorial what I was doing, I just did it to show you really quick. But I just want to show you how it mixes up so you can see the consistency and what it looks like when it comes out. Just put in a little bit, not like that, not that may even be too much. I just, but I put that. And then the tint, not the tint, the oxidant. So let me put it over here first to show you. It's kind of liquidy, runny, but it's like I said, it's not quite a cream. You can see that it drips, but it is a little, 
the consistency itself is a little more than creamy, more like a gel maybe. So um, you might have to be careful. Be careful. It's not quite a liquid, but it's not quite. Okay, like when I pour it out, it's dripping. I'm not squeezing, but makes it kind of nice because I can go here. One, two, three. So I just put three dots, three drops. And then just mix it up. This is a really nice little tray here, by the way. And this is pretty much what it was like when I did the application. So just to give you an idea of the consistency of the two products, this is about what it looked like. So the tutorial here, you'll see it already. Um, I don't show this in the tutorial part, but I um, this is basically what it looked like. So anyways, um, I'll get into the tutorial here. I did just want to show you the things that come with the brow kit. I, I would recommend just purchasing the brow kit so that you have everything all here that you would need. The five, the five colors and everything that you would need to do a successful brow tint. So I would say to definitely just get the, kit, the this large kit or if you really wanted these extra colors, which I didn't really look into as far as what they do, but obviously the violet, the green, those do some pretty cool things with the colors if you really want to customize. So that's worth looking into if it's something that might interest you. And with this, you can really see some of the colors. I believe all this is online for you to see so you can see what it is. But anyways, that's that. So I just want to show you. So um, I will get into the tutorial here and let you see what I did. Okay, so I'm going to just show you a basic um, brow tint, um, at least the way that I've done it. Um, the thing about a brow tint is really great is it adds dimension and depth to brows. But not only that, a lot of brows, especially lighter ones like we see here, they have a lot of hair that it's invisible and you can't really see. And a lot of that hair is right here in the critical point of their arch. So there's a lot of fuzz, but it's not dark, so it's invisible. Now when you tint, it picks all this up. Now, it's not to say it's going to be a full brow, like it's not going to be maybe like this here, but there's usually just enough to at least create that peak of an arch to be able to give them a better one. So tinting is really good, a really good thing to be able to do. So I'm just going to show you how to do um, how to do it. Today I'm going to use um, Belmacil tint. Um, there's you know a few on the market, but Belmacil is what I'm going to use today. And let me get started. So first you're going to want to cleanse, pre-cleanse of course. This is going to be what you do before you wax. I like to do it before, again, because you're going to be bringing up the hairs at the top of the brow, but if you wax before, you might just wax it all off, and these are the hairs that we want. So you do want to do the tinting before you wax, so you can see those hairs and then really be able to do your design working with those hairs that are for now invisible. Okay, so now you got a good little cleanse there. You're gonna want to apply um, some sort of barrier. Um, some, um, Vaseline, petroleum jelly. Um, Belmacil has a barrier cream as well. I'm not using that today. And I've even used zinc oxide. I mean, anything that's gonna, you know, uh, do this like a little barrier. I'm just gonna use a little bit of Vaseline here. Just go around the eye. Making sure you don't want to necessarily put it through their eyebrows. I 
also like to rub it around the skin. Um, sometimes one of the biggest complaints I hear about, um, well, not complaints, I guess concerns about people who are doing the service, is that they can't get the, get off the skin. And even from other, um, even from clients or other people sometimes who explain their last visit, whether they went somewhere, got their brows tinted, and they're big, you know, big black mess on their skin. I find that if you, um, if you keep working the tint on the skin just kind of like this, that it doesn't really stain as much, if at all, really. I just work it in. Kind of like this. Matter of fact, let's just go ahead and take it off. I think it's ready, but. Then remove. Kind of clean the skin again. What I'm using, what I use to cleanse, and what I use to remove is the um, a, the uh, Bella Remove um, from Belmacil. I used that before and after. It says it's good to clean and then also, uh, you know, clean the skin. So that's what I used. But you can see that she definitely has more visible brows. Now remember right up in here. Now she doesn't have a whole lot. I already kind of knew that. But there are some hairs there. They're definitely more visible. Where before, not so much. But it's sometimes just these couple little hairs that will be just enough for you to create that peak right there all the way through. So there you go. This is a um, basically how you would tint. I'm, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna also wax her now. But this is um, what you would do if you were tinting a client before the wax. Now you've got some hair to play with. All right.